common plant mutations that occur in cannabis plants. If you fiddle around with plants for long enough, occasionally something strange may occur and you will end up with a form of mutation that can vary in terms of a change in appearance or even a change in structure. Cannabis plants are no exception and the following are a few of the better known mutations. Duxford cannabis comes from Australia and as the name suggests, it has webbed foot-like leaves. This is a sativa strain and because it bears little resemblance to a normal cannabis plant, it is often grown in the open and where growing cannabis is illegal. Variegation is quite a common mutation in plants where you get a mutation of the leaf colouring with shades of green, yellow and white, usually caused by an inability for the leaf to produce chlorophyll, the green colour, in a plant. Bald phyllotaxy is one of the best ever names for anything, let alone a mutation. Shame it's so difficult to pronounce. Bald phyllotaxy plants have three leaves instead of two that grow from each internode, resulting in greater yields. Creeper cannabis tends to exhibit itself in tropical strains and results from leaves which drop and touch the ground, then form new root sites. This is very similar to the way strawberry plants work. Another wonderful name is Australian Bastard Cannabis. It was first discovered near Sydney in the 1970s. This strange anomaly grows more like a herb than a shrub. The leaves are not serrated, instead they are smooth and shiny, growing no more than 5 cm in length. Then we have leaf buds. Most flower sites on cannabis plants occur at the nodes where the stalks originate. However, leaf buds occur at the base of the leaves themselves. This is an unusual, if pretty, mutation. It can also be advantageous to yield because the plant grows more bud sites. However, experienced growers tend to remove them as they form. They take up nutrients that can otherwise nourish the main flower sites. Polyploidism relates to unique plants that possess double the number of chromosomes than their non-mutant genetic twins. This is a hugely useful trait for significantly increasing THC production as well as yield. The upright phenotype is a mutation where the cannabis plant has become more like a Christmas tree and growing up to 4 meters in height. Twin seedlings is a common mutation that results from the creation of two taproots from one seed, which can be carefully separated. Finally, we have foxtailed cannabis. This mutation breaks up the bud structure of the plant. Instead of growing into a round shape, the bud spreads out in an elongated way. Some purple or Coltrane strains commonly produce foxtail bud structures and strains from Colombia or Thailand also commonly exhibit these characteristics. Have you identified any strange mutations in your cannabis plants? Let us all know what they were in the comments section below. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, smoke up the like button and subscribe to our channel so you too can become a cannabis expert.